Johnny. What's up, buddy? You hear me? I got you fine, Stevie. How are you, bud? Got in the car, man. I'm just uh, getting myself to the city right now. I've been looking at video all morning, and my eyeballs are bleeding. And you want to uh, you want to chat on the way in, or what, what do you got going on? What else is new with your eyeballs? Yeah, I'm ready to <laughs> talk. Uh, probably lots to talk about tonight, bud. Uh, well, let's do it. When you were a player, Stevie, did you like to go on the road? I know I have my own thoughts on it. I, I'd love to go to different cities and experience different things, but I just wonder if sometimes it it was easier for a player to go away and kind of clear your mind of some distractions. I didn't like traveling as much when I was married with children as I did when I was younger because Geez, Johnny, when you're younger, you're traveling all over the country and all over the world. I mean, I lived right. in Russia for two years. I lived in Italy and right. I played 15 years pro, but I also played, I don't know if you know this, but I played on 15 different teams, okay? So right. I don't know if right. I'm embarrassed of that or proud, but I can tell you that- um, <laughs> A little of both, I, I think. No, yeah, I mean, I both. moved around a lot, man. And, uh, <laughs> and in fact, yeah. when I retired at 35, the first time I ever had a 12 month calendar year in one household was was that first year I was retired since I was 15 years old when I left home right so do I miss right. the road um, I could tell you one thing you might get a kick out of when we renovated our bedroom a couple of years ago we copied a Ritz Carlton bedroom like the exact same layout the exact same layout the exact same bathroom <laughs> So I do still feel like I'm reason? on the road. <laughs> I still what? feel like I'm Come on the road. But you did not. Oh, I absolutely did. So we ended up <laughs> we end up legitimately copying the floor plan, layout, everything. Right. So, uh, hey, bro, I'm still on the road. <laughs> <laughs> We're driving our Cadillacs to work, so I'm going to hit you up with a Cadillac trivia question. All right, let's see what you <laughs> I got. Love it. Okay. <laughs> like that little synergy there. Yep. Um, all right, so. Uh, You've made the transition from playing goaltender to uh, moving into the broadcast booth. Uh, give me the names of some of the guys who have done that over the years, including some who have done it w with the Rangers broadcasts. Oh, obviously. Okay, let's start with the man, the king himself, John Davidson. <laughs> John right, J.D. J.D., and uh, he's the best of all time. I don't think we have to uh, debate that at all. Uh, Darren Pang is my favorite goalie of all time. That's why I wore number 40. Really? Oh yeah, uh -huh. that's why I wore 40. Um, only jersey I ever bought, I was 12 years old. Dude, that's like that's like uh, Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito, right? With the, uh, in the identical twins movie. You're 6'6 six, six and he's about 5'2". <laughs> a, a guy who followed you in the Ranger dressing room and then into the broadcast booth, Marty Biron as well, who's in Buffalo right now. Oh, 100%. Marty's great. Mm -hmm. I talked to him quite a bit. I had a good conversation with him this summer. Weeksy, who I love. Uh, I was watching Weeksy on the NHL Network the other night and I'm at home by myself dying laughing. He gets up there, John. He's got yeah. his... He's got his foot up on the desk. He's almost going into a full stretch, and I'm dying. And uh, maybe I'll pull right. that off tonight. Maybe right. I should. Maybe I should go into my full stretch for weeksy and show him how to really get down. There is not enough room in the studio to do that. <laughs> Please don't. You'll kick me if you do. That. <laughs> Fans like to ask me how much of the show is scripted. Huh. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> yeah, right. The way I would describe it as both at the same time, 100% of it and 0% of it. Yeah. Because we have a rundown of what we're going to talk about. We have a rundown of which video is going to be in the show and which players are going to be topics of discussion. But when it comes to the actual words, we really don't rehearse at all. And, and that's where I think these conversations that we're having right now really help. When the light goes on at 6.30, we're on the same page of where our conversation is going to steer. Absolutely. I think the one thing that oftentimes gets overlooked too is that when you and I are talking to the camera, there's no emotion or recognition or approval coming back to us. We're looking at a black box, right? right? And yeah. that's not yeah. always easy. I mean, that's why I find myself looking at you and then sometimes you're just not paying attention to me or you're laughing at me or something. I'm like, what's so funny? You know, I'm looking at you like, what are you looking at? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so Stevie, we're both almost at the uh, at the office here across the street from Madison Square Garden. I'm about to pull in. I know you are as well, so I'll see you on the set, bud. All right, buddy. We'll see you shortly. Yep, you got it. <laughs>